Hello guys, for who doesn't know me yet, my name is Washington and I've created this channel to teach a couple of things that I've been learning coming from a 3D Max environment and working with Blender, right? Recently I had I had a I was hired by a company uh, that they want to change the pipeline from Max to Blender, so I'm in charge of that. And previously I was working in another company which I was being able to use Max, but because the main pipeline wasn't Max, you oh, Blender, but because the main pipeline was 3D Max and V-Ray, I just could use Blender for a few projects, right? But the thing is, when I move into another environment that decided to go full in Blender, so that's the main challenge because we face all the challenges and the issues that a full pipeline in productions has. It had like uh, uh, deadlines, like big projects, you know, uh, workflows and all of that. And one of the work workflows that bothers me a bit from the very beginning in Blender was the grayscale or clay renders, right? And for who is very used with 3D Max and V-Ray, they, they know this is a, something very simple in V-Ray. You just need to choose a tab over high material, over high that for grayscale and exclude the glass from the, the grayscale and it works, right? And what is the, pro the point of excluding the glass? Because It's important because you don't want to have everything in your scene. Let me show you. In this scene, I have this building and I have uh, the glass and I have everything, right? Uh, I just don't want to go here. In Blender, you can go here in your layer. Inside overhide, you just change. I, I created this material, grayscale. So you can you have to create this material in your scene, in whatever object. This material, in this case, the material is applied in this object because otherwise you are not going to see here to replace it, right? Grayscale. So okay, great. I replaced my scene with grayscale, so I can see everything is gray. Great, but I don't see what is going on behind the balcony, for example. And I don't, I don't see what's going on behind, uh, inside the building, right? And for some scenes and lots of scenes in archives, that's very important. And mainly with the building, if the building, the main feature in the building is the glass, glass panels, glass everything. So how you can see that, and the client want to see that for the grayscale, so they can see reflections, they can see glossiness, things like that. So that's why it's very, very important. I'm gonna show you how to do that in Blender easier. I was doing before copying the scene, so I was duplicating my scene, and then I was creating a grayscale and another scene with a regular glass materials so I, res I was rendering both and composing on top of each other but it works but it takes more time it takes lots of time it makes your scene double size before you go into colors and it has the issues that uh, when you compose you may lose details in grayscale that should be in grayscale after the glass because this the glass was rendering just a regular scene and you know you know the issues that can be you know the painful how painful this can be, right? So yeah, in Blender you can replace this, but there's no options here. And hey, Blender developers, I know you are all awesome and you have your own schedule, that's amazing. But it would be great if you guys can add that option here, right, to exclude objects, right? Or at least define a pass index, as I'm sure I'm gonna show you here, how to do that. But before I show you how to do that, if you are interested in Eevee, and how to get an extra step in terms of release. I have released a Udemy course a couple months ago and I've gotten good reviews from people who basically combine EV and Cycles in Blender Compositor in just one click render so you can still get a very very nice uh, quality from uh, from from EV from the average of EV but you combine with ambient occlusion and some passes in, from Cycle that renders really really fast and I show you how to render that really really fast for what matters combine both uh, you still have uh, 50 seconds 40 seconds per frame in a very good quality if you need that for animation even for animation with more consistent ambient occlusion or something like that go that check check in the link below and uh, I hope you like it if you are interested in that Eevee is a real-time render engine with in Blender, right? So yeah, that's getting back to the topic. The only thing you have to do is you have to go 
to your object like let's say you have all your glasses in your scene and you go here to objects tab you have inside relations pass index all the objects in blender comes with pass index zero normally and uh, that's why uh, you apply the grayscale, you apply everything but you can go here and define your glasses uh, render uh, as a pass index one let's say one so the it has a different pass index right for the rest and then you can go here in your grayscale material that's my grayscale material right and then we can get the glass material which is what it seems very complex but it's not I'm not using none of these in this scene it's just these guys right I can take this ctrl C and then I go to my grayscale material ctrl V now I combine both right so it's kind of combining everything uh, as a factor that goes from 1 to 0. 0 is full grayscale and 1 is full glass so you know how I can manage to get the just just the, the object glass as a glass material I, well, the only thing I need to do is go here com is go here to uh, input object info right and then I use object index Bam. here we go Whatever you has as a whatever you have as a index one or whatever index that's not zero, it's gonna be showing you. So the only thing you have to do now is taking whatever object in your scene you want to apply as a glass, and then you put object index zero. Let's say that you have lots of different pieces of glass in your scene, right? Select all of them and select for the last the one that has the in the pass index one and go here and cop and press the right button cop to select it T pay, pay attention on this cube here i'm gonna put oh i'm gonna copy to select so it's gonna take everything and copy that the latest selection index you see the cube become glass as well and you can see the cube has this material, this reddish material. And what if I have a different frosted glass you might see, like, let's say if the balcony is for frosted glass, what should I do to get that? What should I do to get that? Well, you have to go to your material. Just repeat this. Go in a sequence, like, for who that is used to work with render nodes, render nodes or nodes in composition, they understand like the sequence of nodes, right? You go from here first and then go from here and then deliver the final result here, right? So you use still use the same object index. And now it's saying like whatever is uh, beyond the object index zero it's gonna be this guy there's nothing here so it's black right so it's taking whatever is it's taking whatever comes from this operation right and say whatever is coming from this operation is gonna be here and whatever it goes beyond the object index which is still zero goes here so basically replace the glass right but if we take this object and put let's say two two pass index now we have another information how we how we can manage to have that let's copy this guy the material for this guy oh, ctrl c oops ctrl c then we go here ctrl v huh? and then you see all the glass the glass is going to be red everything's going to be red because it's going to take everything and apply the box material you know you can see that that's awesome let's let's change that so you can go here and use uh, math converter math 
right? Boom. And then instead of add, we are gonna use uh, greater than whatever. You can play around with these operations. I'm pretty sure we can find a even better solution for that. But for now, it works just fine. It's much better than copy scene, you know. Because once you have this set it up, you can go back and forth in grayscale in a matter of seconds. Second, seriously. You go greater than. You are basically telling that whatever is greater than 0 0.5, there's no 0 0.5 index. It's 1, 2, 0, you know. Whatever it goes beyond that, it's going to be red. Right? Whatever it goes beyond 0 0.5. If we put whatever goes beyond one, what is, what do you think it's gonna happen? If we say if we say whatever goes beyond one, it's greater than one, then it takes this material. So basically, it's gonna take this operation before that defines that what goes zero is this, what goes one is this, and then go for this operation. Let's say, okay, we take this in account. And whatever goes beyond two, we take this operation. What goes behind two, it's gonna be this operation. You see that? You see that amazing? So if we put one, here we go. Oh my goodness. Now we have our object as a as a I don't know. That's not great. I think that's awesome, my friends. Look at that. Look at that. Whatever object we put here now, let's say this object, if we put material index 2, it's gonna get the cube material. If you're gonna put the, 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 the one's gonna get the glass. If you're gonna put zero, it's gonna get the grayscale, right? But let's say I want this guy shows up as this material, the, the, as is how the material is. We can go here, right? Grab his, grab, grab its materials. Let's 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 condense this. This is oh my goodness, this is driving me crazy. Let's put this as a group. Just it's not necessary, but makes our life easier. Control C and then we go to the grayscale material. Control V bam. That's it. That's it. Just to explain you the sequence, the only thing we have to do it's copy this guy these two guys bam D. we copy this guy put it here we put it here and then we put the object index here right and this guy we put it here it's gonna take the cube is gonna be with the material of the building because we are saying Whatever is greater than one, it's gonna take it's gonna take this material, right? So that takes this operation in consideration, then moves to this, but this replace this because they say one and one. If we put greater than two, the cube come back to come back to this material, right? Because the cube is one. The cube the cube is two. And when I say whatever is greater than two, if we put this gra this guy greater than two, so it's gonna be that material three. Here you go. You see, you understand the logic of it. It's much better than just have the gray scale applied to everything, and you can keep going on that. But I'm pretty sure that after I realize the logic of this thing here. I am pretty sure that there is a way of using a better mathematics here because there is this those things that I really don't know how to do that like compare compare right so you can use different values and you you can compare more I don't know it looks like a boolean something but for now guys it's it's it, it's it, that's it right if you want the and then you want to go back you just remove overhead materials everything goes back to the normal and if you apply the grayscale material over height it's gonna be the same thing right and if you want to go just the glass everything you just go those objects and apply 
pass index zero, pass index zero. Right? Go here, remove grayscale, go here, apply grayscale. I hope you like it. See you soon. Here we go. My goodness, how can I trim this off?